हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जियोमेट्रिक डायमेंशनिंग एंड टॉलरेंसिंग लेक्चर वन देर विल बी एट टू टेन लेक्चर्स इट विल टेक यू फ्रॉम बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ जी डी एन टी टू एडवांस लेवल ऑफ जी डी एन टी दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर विल कवर वॉट इज जी डी एन टी वाई इट इज नीडेड जियोमेट्रिक डायमेंशनिंग टॉलरेंसिंग वेरियस मिथ्स इन जी डी एन टी एंड वेरियस फिट्स Based on we define geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. First question in geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is what is G D and T? Father asked his daughter, "What kind of husband you need?" She told, "He should be smart looking." Amrish Puri from Loha movie came and told I am smart Oops need geometric control now then she told Looks like Hrithik Roshan Exit not possible define some tolerances if not Hrithik Arman is okay. This is exactly done by ZDNT in engineering design. Same example is shown over here. If we give dimensions without geometric control, it can be manufactured the sawn distorted shape with all the dimension. If you go ahead and measure on CMM. all the dimensions are achieved but form is not controlled so that's why geometric tolerancing needed gdnt can be divided into two parts one is geometric dimensioning and other is geometric tolerancing so geometric tolerancing depends upon geometric dimensioning what is the scheme of dimensioning we are using in our drawing for our component that is going to affect tolerancing even geometric tolerancing so let's discuss few dimensioning schemes shown are most commonly used dimensioning scheme first one is baseline dimension in that all the dimensions are defined a single baseline second one is chain dimensioning in that all the features are important and defined individually and another is combined dimensioning in that the required feature to be controlled are dimensioned and fourth one is dimensioning by coordinates so this is geometric dimensioning scheme let's discuss how geometric dimensioning affects geometric tolerancing or tolerancing and let's find out what is tolerancing feature suppose this is two scheme of dimensioning first one is chain dimensioning in chain dimensioning each individual feature is defined by dimensioning and overall length is not given so let's find out what is overall length in this case so it will be 25 but what would be tolerance on that overall length that is 1 2 3 4 5 plus or minus 5 so this overall length is called as tolerancing feature where all the uh dimensions tolerances are going to be dumped on a single feature so uh, if i want to control overall length also within some limit i need to provide some tidal tolerances over here let's discuss in this case this is mixed kind of dimensioning in this i have defined the important features like this feature this feature this and this one i have defined phi plus or minus 1 then overall length is also given that is 25 plus or minus 1 then what about this feature that i have left that will be around 5 plus or minus 
phi. If I dump all the tolerances on this feature, this will be phi plus or minus phi. So in worst case scenario, this feature thickness would be zero. So that is how geometric dimensioning affects the geometric tolerancing and tolerancing both. Let's discuss various types of fits. In clearance fit, suppose this is whole diameter and this is half diameter. In this, this zone represents the tolerancing zone on soft and this zone represents tolerancing zone on whole. So in worst case scenario, if soft is manufactured of bigger diameter and whole is manufactured of smaller diameter, in that case also for clearance fit, the diameter of shaft should be smaller than the diameter of hole. So maximum shaft size should be always less than minimum hole size. For interference fit, minimum shaft size should always be greater than maximum size of hole. Then and then we are going to get interference fit. Let's discuss transition fit. Transition fit is a kind of fit in which we are going to get sliding fit, interference fit and clearance fit all. So suppose this is these are the tolerance zone on hole and shaft and hole is manufactured at its smallest limit that is smallest diameter of hole and shaft is manufactured somewhere here that is la near uh, largest size of shaft. So we are going to get kind of when we will assemble this, we are going to get interference fit. But suppose hole is made bigger and shaft is made of its smallest dimension, that is smallest diameter of shaft, then we are going to get a clearance fit. So accordingly, in transition fit, we can get sliding fit, interference fit and clearance fit. Let's discuss about various myths in GDNT and first myth is dimensioning and tolerancing are separate step. Geometric dimensioning and tolerancing are not separate steps. We have to be careful while dimensioning in drawing. It is going to affect our tolerancing values and system. So suppose th this is a component and this is another component and we are going to assemble it. And in first scenario, this is the face of contact. Then how should we locate these holes? Because uh, while after assembling, we are going to assemble a pin through these two holes. So if these two are the face of contacts, we should always give whole dimension from here to here and this whole, whole dimension from here to here because these are phase of contact. We are uh, trying to reduce dimensions in loop diagram. Same way, suppose this is the phase of contact. These both phase are going to be in contact. Then we should define these holes location from those faces. So while dimensioning in drawing, we need to take care of these things, how it is going to assemble. Otherwise, uh, there will be more dimension in our loop diagram in stack up analysis and it will affect the tolerancing system. So both dimensioning and tolerancing are simultaneous steps. We have to perform it together. Second myth is GTOL should be given on critical parts only, not on simple component, simple parts. Let's discuss why we should define geometric tolerancing in simple component also. Suppose this is the component and we have dimension it from its ages 5 plus or minus 1, 5 plus or minus 1. So what will be the tolerance zone? The tolerance zone would be rectangular one where axis can sit to 1 mm here and 1 mm here that is 2 mm, 1 mm above and 1 mm down that is 2 mm. So this is 
rectangular tolerance zone in this case of dimensioning suppose we have made, made basic this dimension and we have defined 2 mm positional tolerance on the axis of hole so its axis can move in two diameter all around the diameter will be 2 mm so this is rectangular kind of thing and this is circular so if i draw rectangular diameter uh, tolerance zone in it we can see that these zone are additional tolerance we are providing on this hole whereas this this hole was more tighter so this is difference between uh, geometric tolerancing and simple tolerancing in simple tolerancing the zone is rectangular one and in geometric tolerancing the zone is circular one and where it provides more additional tolerances next myth is application of gtol takes much time it is absolutely incorrect if you know geometric tolerancing and you if you have studied the assembly properly then it it can be given along with the dimensioning while you are drawing while you are working on drawing so it's not uh, it is not like it it will take much time next myth is gtol increases product cost it's not if it is mass production because gtol slightly increases manufacturing and inspection cost but it controls on rejection so it it uh, reduces the production cost in case of mass production myth in gdnt is like it improves design no it's not it, it is absolutely incorrect gdnt is a tool which with which a designer controls the drawing he communicates with manufacturing so it can be manufactured in a required shape and geometry so gdnt does a control not improves design so this was lecture 1 for basic of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing in coming lecture we will learn various type of geometric tolerances thank you